Hi and welcome to Stealth Security. In today's video, we are going to look at how to take over a Windows machine using the Eternal Blue vulnerability. Eternal Blue is a vulnerability in Windows machines. It affects the server message block or SMB. SMB helps devices communicate with each other like printers. And this vulnerability was discovered by the National Security Agency or the NSA. And they built an exploit for it. This exploit was leaked and it was developed into a ransomware by a group of hackers. This ransomware was called as the WannaCry ransomware and it affected systems in over 150 countries. So in this tutorial, we are going to see how to check if a Windows system is vulnerable for WannaCry and how to exploit it using Metasploit. So firstly, we need a Windows system and I have a Windows system running and the IP address is 10.10.217.189. So firstly, let's do an Nmap scan to see if port 445 is open because SMB runs on port 445. Let's start the scan. Yes, port 445 is open. Great. So now let's start Metasploit. We don't know what Metasploit is. It's a complete attacking framework. You have a lot of modules like for scanning, exploitation, post-exploitation. Metasploit is a very useful tool if you are into pen testing. It'll be something that you'll be using on a daily basis. So Metasploit has started. You can see it has over 2,460 exploits, 1266 auxiliaries. Auxiliaries are helper modules. And then there are 1468 payloads. So Metasploit is a complete framework for pen testing. Now, what we need is we need a scanner to check and make sure that this server is vulnerable for the Eternal Blue vulnerability. So let me search for a scanner that can check for Eternal Blue vulnerability. Great, we have found a scanner to check for the Eternal Blue vulnerability. You can see that it has MS17010. That's the code for the Eternal Blue vulnerability. So let's go ahead and use the scanner. Auxiliary scanner SMB. Now let's look at the options and make sure that we set the target IP properly. We can see that uh, the port is set at 445 by default which is great. The only value that they have to set is our hosts. So let's go ahead and do that. Set our hosts with our IP address. Let's double check the options. Yes, our host is set. Now let's run the scanner and see what comes up. So this scanner says that the host is likely vulnerable to the Eternal Blue vulnerability and it is running Windows 7 Professional. Okay, now we can try and exploit it. For that, we need to search for an exploit with the keyword of Eternal Blue. Great, we can find a few exploits. Let's try and use the first one, which is exploit Windows SMB MS17010 Eternal Blue. Use exploit Windows SMB MS17010. 010 Eternal Blue. Great. Now we have loaded the exploit and there's a default payload which is loaded, which is the Metaprinter. Metaprinter is a powerful payload. So once we exploit it, Metaprinter will be loaded into the system and you'll have complete control over the system. So let's again look at the options. And you can see that the payload options are set at L host, which is our local host, and the port is 4444, which means once the exploit is complete, the target system will be listening back to our attacking system. Let's look at the R hosts. R host value is not set. Let's go ahead and set it. And now we can run this exploit. Let's see what happens. It might take some time for it to try different approaches in order to exploit the system so it can fail a couple of times. But let's wait and see what happens. As you can see, it has failed once, so it's going to retry. Let's wait. Great, we have a Metaprinter shell. Let's look at the options and see what Metaprinter offers. So Metaprinter is a very powerful payload. It can dump all the contents of the SAM database. It can attempt to elevate your privileges. There is the option to record the mic or 
screen the webcam. You can take complete control of the system once you're inside it and Metapreter is loaded. So let's see what it displays if we run the ls command. Yeah, we can see a lot of critical files. Let's look at the directory where we are at. We are at Windows System 32. As you can see, we have scanned the server to see if it has the eternal blue vulnerability. We found it. We then used an exploit to take control of the system and we exploited it successfully and we also loaded Metapreter. So I hope you understand how this eternal blue vulnerability works. This is the general way we take control of systems using vulnerabilities. We first check the server to see if there are any existing holes and then we find exploits for us to take control and then load payloads in order for us to get control of the system. So hope this video helped you to understand how Eternal Blue vulnerability works and how you can use Metasploit to take control of a system with that vulnerability. If you want to try this lab hands-on, you can join the hacker sub community. It's a private community for ethical hackers and we have labs, we have live hacking sessions, we have Q&As and a lot of things that can fast track your journey as a cybersecurity professional. And there is a free trial if you want to check it out for seven days before you decide to pay $19 a month. So thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you soon with a new topic. Cheers.